For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number four of the second season here at Napoli on FIFA 17. We start with an interesting email, one that comes in from the chief executive saying that we've had a transfer offer for Pepe Reina. However, that isn't anywhere near what we want for him. Two and a half million pounds under value from Arsenal. Give me 17 and a half and you can have him. 34 years old now and... We'll make the counter offer. We are in the process of having a look at a number of other players. Actually, I asked you guys in the last episode to let me know what centre back to go for. And uh, Aspilicueta was actually pretty popular considering uh, how good he is and how cheap he is. So I think I'm definitely going to try and sign Dave. But another centre back signing, I'm not sure. And there was kind of pros and cons in the comment section for Joe Hart and or Juan at Moruli, so I'm still not sure what to do goalkeeper-wise. We have a bid in currently for Joe Hart, so we'll see what happens there as we advance further through. Sassuolo have met our demands, of course, for Jonathan de Guzman. Uh, we've got a scout report back on Balanta, which is interesting. I want to see what he's like. Currently only 77 rated. That's really not good enough, unfortunately. So he'll be staying where he is. And off for Luperto. <sighs> I mean, I want to sell him, but... Yeah, we've still got plenty of time before the league season starts, and I'm just going to accept it. Uh, I was going to say, because we, that leaves us with only three centre-backs, but uh, I'm definitely not selling Tonelli. But we should be able to uh, to get uh, someone in before we need the the extra cover. We've got, of course, the game against... Oh, Man City have rejected the offer. Not interested in the player. We offered Pepe Reina, so... Fine. They wanted 36 million for Joe Hart, and I just am not willing to part with that sort of money. Um, I'm really unsure what to do. What about Duvan Zapata, maybe? Because I know we know Zapata is a player that I don't want. If I can get Zapata out and Joe Hart in, then that might be the way forward. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. I'm. I really don't know what to do with the goalkeeper situation. I really don't know what to do. Uh, oh, they've offered me 13 for Reina. Just not what. It's not what I want. I won't accept anything less than 15. I just won't. We'll advance. We're going, heading into a new month now. Into the month of August for the first time. And transfer for Zapata. Right. Uh, Luperto's gone. Press conference, don't want. Press conference, don't want. Youth squad. Um, oh, I'm just going to leave these guys where they are for now. I might call them up a little bit later, though, because of the youth expectations from the board. Um, they're not interested in Zapata either. This is going to be frustrating because I'm not going to get enough Oh, oh, and Pepe Reina's gone down a, a rating and by £2 million in value as well. Wonderful. That means we're going to get even less for him now, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know what to do goalkeeper-wise. Uh, an offer for Duvan Zapata. They weren't interested in him at Manchester City, but if I can get like £22 million from Valencia for Duvan Zapata, then I would be willing to spend a little bit more on a goalkeeper, knowing that we have even more in the bank that we can spend on centre-backs. It's, it's going to be a a weird window, this one. Chancel and Bemba, 77 rated as well. Again, just not really worth it, unfortunately. Bruno Martins Indy, 79 rated. Not really worth it. And Chesney, not sure about him. Rudiger, though, he's at 81 rated. Is he really worth... See, I want someone that's going to be worthy of the starting spot. And so far, no one is. Rugani is the highest rated centre back we've looked at so far, other than... Aspilicueta, who actually I need to go and put a transfer offer in for, don't I? So I'll do that in a second. And they have matched the 16 for Pepe Reina. Thank you, Arsenal. Right, an offer for Piotr Zielinski, which we will turn down from Liverpool. I will now go and bid for Cesar Aspilicueta. And we'll see if we can get an offer accepted from Chelsea there. And then we can really knuckle down with regards the goalkeeper. Oh, please. He's on 110 grand a week, which actually isn't that much. 
Now, I don't know whether they'd accept something about valuation. I don't think so. I don't think so, but we will have to wait and see. You don't get if you don't ask. So we have asked. We will see if we get. Will we get any sort of response before the Super Copper against Juventus? An offer for Daisy. Uh, I'm just going to accept that. I just want to get him out of the club. That's more money in the transfer budget. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll advance a little bit further. Got another email there, probably a press conference. And is three emails. They... Oh. All right, fine. Zupata won't be going to Valencia. But the first game of today's episode will be this Super Copper game against Juventus. And then we'll go and play Red Bull Salzburg in the second game of the episode. In the first leg of the Champions League qualification uh, games. But uh, we have a first team available to us. Well, everyone but um, Kudabali, of course. We beat Juventus in the Coppa Italia final to get ourselves into this Super Coppa. They won the league, though, of course, last year. But we'll see if we can replicate the last time we played against Juventus and get a win. Fingers crossed we can. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Let's go and play Juve. Hussite into Insigne. To Bellotti. Back there to Hamsik. Oh, wasn't where it was intended to go, but it may end up in a chance, and it will do. Jorginho. Oh, finished my man on his left foot. Rolled the defender superbly and buries that in the bottom corner. That's the dream start for us here. I mean, how the defender has been turned that easily, I'm not sure. But on his left foot, that is an arrowed finish into the bottom corner. Gianluigi Buffon beaten right into the corner. That's such a good finish. I wasn't confident when I took that on his left. But after that finish, I'm really, really pleased. 1-0 Napoli after four minutes. Higuain to Sami Kadira. Nice turn into Gonzalo Higuain. They could be instantly level. And they are. Morone. I thought Higuain was going to shoot himself, so I dived in front to try and block it. Nope. Played it across to Morone, who buries it himself. I mean, when Higuain is there, you expect him to shoot. And he just... Well, he didn't. <laughs> Completely caught me out. And uh, Morone with a decent finish. Not... The most accurate finishes, but I think it was just a shot power that beat Pepe Reina, unfortunately. 1-1 after seven minutes. This could be quite an entertaining game. Nice tackle by Allen, and it's dropped to Bellotti. Mertens is there. It will reach him just, and finessed! Should have played Jorginho in, shouldn't I? I should have played Jorginho in. He was racing away on this near side, and had I, had I opened my eyes a little bit, Oh, I don't know whether I could have turned and got the ball to him, though, before a defender got near him. Perhaps the shot was the right thing to do. Kind of second-guessing myself here, aren't I, really? 13 minutes in, it's still 1-1, but we had the opportunity to go in front for a second time. Two between Bellotti and Jorginho, and I'm always confident in Bellotti from situations like that. But unfortunately, Gianluigi, Gian, ugh, Gianluigi Buffon does well enough to put me off. And uh, Benucci did well enough there to put Bellotti off. Corner comes in, up goes Allen, no, up goes Morone. It's going to drop to him here, though. Hamsik whips it in, and Kadira heads it away. Benucci will uh, work it away for... I oh, almost said Leicester there for some reason. I have absolutely no idea why. Works it away for Juventus. We stay at 1-1 after 18 minutes. Into Jorginho, across to Bellotti. I mean, Jorginho's kept the run going, so I'll play the ball over, and it will reach him. On his left foot again. Oh, Buffon with a save. Oh, Morone nearly put that in the back of his own net. He scored at one end. And nearly scored in his own goal there as, as well. Marek Kamsic with the corner. Up goes Mandzukic. Not really going to beat him in the air. And Mandzukic wins it again. But it will drop to Jorginho. And he gets his turn in. And that was meant for Bellotti. But never mind. I wanted to hit that first time with Bellotti. Oh, it's a good turn. But Jorginho. Oh, Jorginho. Chiellini. Gior Giorgio Chiellini. I'm struggling with all the names today. Uh, was able to outmuscle me there and I couldn't quite get the shot off or find Dries Mertens who may actually made a good run into a lot of space. A lot happening in this opening half an hour as you can tell. And I'm struggling to keep up at times but for now it's still 1-1. To Bellotti, just knock that back there to Allen and out to Insigne. We might be able to twist and turn away from Alexandro. We will use the supporting runs though. Here's Husay. Bellotti is in the middle. Oh no, it's Mertens in the middle. Oh, and it's a decent header. But Gianluigi Buffon right behind it. Ten minutes to go to a half-time. I've had enough chances here to have even put the game beyond Juventus's reach at this point. But still the one goal to one. Free kick to come in for Juventus here. 
Juan Cuadrado, oh, he's gone short. I wasn't ready for that. Miralem Pjanic gets that to Lichsteiner. Across here to Chiellini. If he scores a banger from outside the box, you really do know it's not your day. Kingsley Coven draws a good save out of Pepe Reina. Couldn't quite close him down quickly enough. Everybody I changed player to actually ended up running away from the ball. Kingsley Coman will take the corner himself. He is going to go short here to Quadrado, who's got great dribbling, of course. Decent cross, but straight at Pepe Reina. Just going to take my time here. I don't want to rush things. Juventus can be deadly on the counter-attack with the pace of players like Quadrado. So I don't want to end up throwing lots of bodies forward and then getting caught on the counter myself. I much prefer to be the side countering on someone else than the side being countered upon. Gonzalo Higuain here with great footwork. Out to Quadrado. How are you supposed to deal with that? Well, just stand there with Gulam apparently. That's how you deal with it. Work this away and we'll try and counter ourselves. But it's a poor pass. And now we're being countered upon. Higuain... Slowing things down, shot blocked by Tonelli and just hacked away. Ten minutes into the second half, it's still 1-1. Juventus, though, starting on the front foot in this second period. Gulen with the throw into Dries Mertens. Pulls that back there to Allen. And close down quickly. Go to Insigne. Bit of footwork, maybe. Oh, couldn't quite get the uh, move off before closed, uh, being closed down. Hamsik trying to close down Kingsley Coman here. But into Mandzukic, across to Quadrado. It's been a very even game which gives me confidence pushing forward into the league season that even though we haven't strengthened the squad as of yet, we're still able to compete with the likes of Juventus. And if we can keep Belotti fit for the full season, as we said numerous times last year, we will be there or thereabouts when it gets to the end of the season with regards to the uh, Scudetto. Kingsley Coman takes it short to Pjanic, pulls that back there to Quadrado, who could shoot and has done, blocked by Jorginho, but Alexandro picks up the loose ball, intercepted by Jorginho. Allen looking to burst away, go out wide, committed the defender to the challenge, Dries Mertens turns inside, I've got the run going on the outside of me, it's Gulam. Oh, Manzukic got to that, but actually just helped it more into my path. Pull that back there, that wasn't meant for you though, Marek. Never mind, here's Jorginho arriving, and will look to find Insigne, he's got good footwork, this is a good move. Allen could shoot. He's not really got the room for it. Oh, I need to pull this back to someone on the edge of the box. There's Jorginho Quadrado intercepts and Kingsley Coman will come away with it. Oh, that's frustrating. I just couldn't quite find the right ball at the right time. Good interception and Tonelli will work it away. Let's go again. I will rely on substitutions here momentarily if things don't continue to go my way. I will try and find Hamsik, but I just saw Insigne there at the bottom of my screen at the last moment. Let's make some changes, shall we? It's been a good, entertaining game so far, but I'm going to bring on Zielinski and Diawara and move Allen up into a more attacking role. Well, not necessarily attacking role, but you know what I mean. A more forward role than the... A less disciplined role. There we go. That's how we'll phrase it. We'll bring Lucas on as well. It's given away. And play it through there to Allen, who is in that less disciplined role already. And Jorginho has already scored one. Oh, it's going to drop. No, it's not. Alexandro sweeps it away. Goulam, we will go out wide to Dries Mertens, back inside to Goulam, and then to Jorginho again, but Marquisio's in the way. It really is an even game. It has been throughout the uh, 77 minutes played so far, and there are 14 or so to go between now and the end. Hamsik still is off the man, and Velotti's in. I can't believe this is happening. That's come out of nowhere. I just, I just unpaused the game after uh, doing something on the PC, Immediately stole it off to the, the midfielder there. Is it Marquisio there, number eight? And then play Belotti in, and we're in front. That really has come out of absolutely nowhere. Juventus have been on top throughout this entire second half. One mistake, as was the case actually in the, the Coppa Italia final, wasn't it? Didn't they make a mistake to give me the win? Or was it an own goal? I think it was an own goal, wasn't it? I can't remember. But regardless, they've made a mistake here. And we have ourselves a 2-1 lead for the second game in a row against Juventus. And maybe, just maybe, we might be getting another piece of silverware. Marquisio made that mistake, looking to make up for it. Komen! Oh, brushing the side netting. Decent effort, that. Pepe Reina will punt this uh, clear, though. I'm not sure how much money we'll get for winning this. If we win it, of course. I'm going to get too caught up in the moment. I don't think there's too much of a prize pool, if a prize pool at all. But we'll find out, I guess, at the end of the game, if we win. Marquisio trying to, again, make up for his mistake, but it's gone out for a corner. Kingsley Coman will whip it into the box. Simone Zaza has come on for uh, Mary Mandzukic. Marquisio picks up on the loose ball. 
as Lucas chested it down, Kingsley Coman to uh, take another corner. They're going to go short. They have done a couple of times. They're not going short this time. And Higuain flicks that on, but straight to Pepe Reina. I could bowl it out quickly. Not going to, though. I'm going to waste time as best I can between now and the final whistle and ensure that we get victory. Zaza with a turn. We're in stoppage time. Oh, and Gulan with a tackle. Necessary and well executed. And that was unnecessary and poorly executed from me there. But Lucas has got the space to run into here. I'll get it to him. Wasn't the best of first touches. Benucci with him. And I can't turn. Do I take the corner? I'll take the corner. Just hold him off. There we go. That, I think, will have won us the game. I will take this short as well just to waste some more time. Pull that back there to Zielinski. Should have held it in the corner. Went for the cross instead. It still might drop to someone. Marchisio will clear. And the referee blows his final whistle. Thanks to that mistake from the Italian. One of their best central midfielders of recent times. But made the mistake. Andrea Bellotti punished them. We w Oh, no. I skipped the trophy celebration. That's pissed me off. Sorry, lads. You can see from the stats, though. An extremely even game. But that extra shot on target was the difference. Claudio Marchisio will not sleep well tonight, that is for sure. We win 2-1 though, back to the transfer window, let's see if we can get some business done. Pepe Reina has gone to Arsenal, the deal is done, the money's in the bank, I now need to go and sign a striker. They want 22.5 for Azpilicueta, I'll be honest, I would pay that, but if I can get him for less, then I will. Right, that would leave me actually with over 50 million still to spend. It might be time to go and splash some cash on a goalkeeper but who do I splash the cash on I'm still torn I'm still torn I still think I want Joe Hart I'm going to wait and see what they say to that last offer I mean Timo Horn is okay but his diving is not too good Ruli is the obvious the other obvious one but he's so expensive he's so very very expensive let's try and offer Zapata as well. I wish I could offer multiple players. We'll offer Zapata plus 20 million. Let's see what they say. Because his wages aren't very much at all there, as you can see, Geronimo Rulli. So we'll be able to save a little bit there. Although it's easier to save the other way around. Like transfer uh, transfer budget into wage budget rather than wage budget to transfer budget. You actually get much more out of it. Transfer offer for Andrea Bellotti. For, Christ, 51 million. That's a massive offer. It's the biggest one we've received so far, but of course, understandably, rejecting it. And we will move slightly further towards that first Champions League game of the season, which I am desperate to win. Jorginho has accepted a contract. He came to me and asked for uh, more money, so I decided to give it to him because I want him to stay. Yeah, you'll get that position. Uh, they're interested in the player. They're interested in... Oh, hello. Let's do this one first. Dave. Come to me, Dave. Come play for Napoli, Dave. Right. They want 46.5 million. That's not happening. How about 28? I would stretch to 28. I would probably stretch to about... Oh, I don't know, because Zapata's involved as well. And he was going to be another big money spinner for us. Um, I'd probably stretch to 33, 34. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Transfer offer for Andrea Bellotti again, 46 from Wolfsburg. We'll reject that one as well, of course. I could reject all offers, but I, do, I always find it interesting to see who comes in for my players and um, you know what level their bids are at. I know some people get rather annoyed with me in the comments for doing that, but it's just the way I play FIFA, I'm afraid, so I apologise if it frustrates you. Stopping simulation, which means something's happening. Oh! God damn! As Pilaqueta accepts the contract offer, he is in. And Real Sociedad have accepted 28 million plus Duvan Zapata for Geronimo Rulli, and he only wants 45 grand a week. He is also, hopefully, in the next couple of days, in. Which means we will know how much money we've got left to spend on one remaining centre back. Oh, As Pilaqueta, lads, that is a huge signing. Not necessarily in terms of value, but in terms of quality of player, we have done very, very well there. And now we get an offer for Duvan Zapata. Well, I'm, I'll stall. Just on the off chance that really doesn't sign contract terms, I'll stall. But let's take Raul Albiol out of the starting lineup now, and we will put a certain Spaniard into the starting lineup. Um, 
I'll take Johnny off the bench, put Albiol there. And obviously I'm gonna start my strongest possible side. Uh, yeah, I'll play Dave on the right hand side of the of the, the two. Oh, that's... I'm really pleased with that. That's a great signing. Cesar Azpilicueta in at Napoli. We are improving already. We'll have a new 85-rated keeper, hopefully, by the end of the episode as well. And then we can start thinking about another centre-back signing. Salzburg next. Schwegler. Inside to Huang Hee Chan. That's a great delivery. As P, his first action in a Napoli shirt is to head away a dangerous cross. I'm starting Damian and Johnny as wingbacks in this one, giving Hussein Gulam a rest. Damian was actually keen to play, so uh, that's why I started him. And to be fair, Johnny is higher rated than Gulam now, so I might start to give him a little bit more first team football. Jorginho here into Allen. Allen, to be fair, I should probably take out the starting lineup for Diawara again now that Diawara is back fighting fit. So I might do that for the next game, although the next game comes in rather. Uh, a short amount of time, only a couple of days, I think, until the Serie A season kicks off. And I think we've got Bologna, maybe. It was either Bologna or Genoa, I think. And uh, that will be, of course, in the next episode. But we might have a new goalkeeper by then. So I'm not going to make too many decisions with regards to my starting lineup at this early stage of the season. It's, again, still just an experimental stage. As ratings change, that was terrible from Jorginho. As ratings change and some players improve and some players uh, degrade, so to speak. Uh, the way that the team looks will obviously adapt throughout the course of the season again, as it did last year. So I'm expecting more more young players to come through this year, hopefully. Uh, Zielinski did really well last year, but I mean, Jorginho just did better, to be fair. I did start the season with Zielinski, and of course, Jorginho earned that first team spot. Damian does well there to cut that out. Drongowski gets lucky, but we keep the ball. 13 minutes in, it's nil-nil. But, to be fair, Salzburg have started on the front foot. And I might keep this in with Mertens. And we will keep this in with Mertens. And I'm racing and I'm racing and I'm racing. I'm going to try a burb spin to get in the box. I'm going to pull that back to Jorginho in space. Oh, that's a good save by Valka Insigne. Oh, I tried to get him to play that first time back across goal. And he just wouldn't do it. Stood there, took a touch, took it out for a goal kick. Incredibly frustrating. But there's our first chance of the game. Unfortunately still goalless an away goal could be crucial although I'd like to think we could win it outright on aggregate against Red Bull Salzburg but time will tell of course oh twisting and turning for Risha causing me problems here that's another good cross Tonelli heads that one away Allen brings it down there's actually some space here for Mertens to run into and the defender got slowed down by Bellotti there but Miranda has come across to win it off me anyway Mina Mino Got a man running around the outside of him, and he might use him. He's not. He's poked it, poked it down the line to Radishevic. Gets it back to Minamino. I can't deny that Salzburg have been the better side in this game so far, although we have had the best opportunities so far. Mertens, I'll turn inside him. That's gone really well. Jorginho making moves in the middle. I'll pull that back though to Hamshik. We could then play that through to Jorginho. It's a great run. It's a good first touch. The shot is blocked. It's going to drop to Damian into the middle. And I didn't put enough on it to reach Bellotti, unfortunately. This, again, is another end-to-end -end entertaining game, but as was the case against Juventus, I'm not sure which team is going to come out on top. It might take another mistake from one side to allow the other one to win, although, of course, this is two legs. So the overall result in this game isn't as important as it was against Juve that obviously was being played on just the one day. Johnny with a quick throw. Back to Allen. Hamshik. It's Jorginho. Oh, it's well cut out by the defender, though, and a big ball blade played over the top. Tonelli can't win the header, and Huang Hee Chan has done well. I've missed the challenge there. Aspi coming across. Oh, and Drogovsky making a good save. Aspi just having to stop them from playing the ball through to the other man. I felt comfortable enough to let him shoot from that sort of angle and that sort of distance. Hamshik with a headed clearance. Blotti brings it down. His footwork's been quite slow in this game, and he's normally very, very good with his feet. It's quite frustrating at present. Again, slow with his... Oh, slow getting the ball under control and it's causing me some problems now on the counter attack which is quite frustrating but he's offside there so we'll win the ball back again at least need to improve here really need to improve Allen to Bellotti ball played quickly to Jorginho come across here to Hamshik and then through to Bellotti again Jorginho will run off me and burst into the box Jorginho gives us a 1-0 lead the man is on fire in pre-season. We lead after 10 minutes in the second half. 
And that's an away goal as well, of course, in these Champions League qualifiers. It's a great finish as well. Keeping it low, away from the keeper, into the bottom corner. Jorginho won us the... Uh, well, scored a goal in the Supercoppa. To be fair, it was Bellotti that scored the winning goal, but still was heavily involved in the uh, Supercoppa. And now gives us a 1-0 lead here against... Oh, Red Bull Salzburg, we could be in for another. Oh, but Bellotti just is not firing on all cylinders in this second game. It all went right for him in the Juve game. It's all going wrong for him here. He's kept that in, Damian, as it dropped down out of the sky. Wasn't expecting him to do that. Bellotti's come short. We're back to Hamschik. I'm torn as to whether to push for a second or just be happy with the one goal, to be fair. So nice ball through to Johnny, who's shown good footwork there to get away from the defender. Here's Alan. We'll look for Bellotti. Oh, but his footwork lets him down again. Andrea, what are you doing? I may even take him off here, but I am going to take him off. He's just not at it today. I don't know why. In the game against Juve, you, like, you couldn't get the ball off him. And now he can't keep the ball at his feet. Um... I'm going to bring Krejci on for Mertens. See if we could do something down that left-hand side. Right, let's push forward. 13 minutes to go. Tonelli cuts that out rather comfortably. Can we force a second goal before the end of the game? A 2-0 away goal lead would surely see us be very, very comfortable in the second leg. Just the one goal lead leaves us still quite vulnerable. Not as vulnerable as Salzburg, obviously, being 1-0 down with an away goal scored against them, but... 1-0 uh, is always a dodgy scoreline and knowing my ability or inability when it comes to defensive solidarity I'm not sure I trust myself with just a one goal advantage Mertens here on the counter but waiting, 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 waiting for the run on the overlap and it did arrive but by which time Mertens had lost the ball uh, here's Lazaro down the right for Salzburg cross could come in and it's still May he's taking his time here Pulls it back to Schwegler, into Prevelak, who's turned well. Tonelli with a tackle, but it's dropped to Prevelak again, and he's put it wide the post. Five minutes to go. That's a very good opportunity for them to equalise, and they've missed it. Here's Allen, given away. Milik, can his footwork be better than Pelotti's? It was decent. Lorenzo Insigne in. His footwork is very good. Across to Hamshik, bury it. Oh, I tried to keep that low, believe it or not. And it's gone towards the roof of the net. It's comfortable for the keeper, but time is running out here. Win that header, please. He hasn't. De Boer brings it down, knocks it to a teammate, and Prevliak get it back to the man that played it to him, whose name is unpronounceable. Matteo Damian gets the block on. Can we keep that in? We can't. And the final whistle hasn't gone yet. Nervous times. Now or never for Salzburg in this first leg. Will they equalise or will they lose the first leg by a goal to nil? It looks like it's going to be the latter. Milik flicks it over his head and away from danger. And there goes the final whistle. A win in leg one. We have half a foot in the Champions League group stage. It was not the most convincing of wins. It could have been more so. But unfortunately, we weren't as prolific in front of goal as I might have liked in that game. Interestingly there, Chelsea lose 2-1 to Lech Poznan. Wow, and Paris Saint-Germain held by FC Copenhagen as well. Uh, Jorna Roruli accepts the contract offer. We have a new number one goalkeeper, boys and girls. And we also have a decent amount of money left in the transfer budget. 26 million, and I can alter it slightly, which means I now can't accept that transfer offer for Duvan Zapata. But, sorry, Drongovski, but not a chance. Are you going to start ahead of 85-rated Jorna Roruli? I'm really pleased with that. Two top-quality signings in today's episode. Really, really top quality signings. And I'll have a quick fiddle with the budget and then you guys will know and I'll know exactly what we've got left to spend on this centre-back. So if I alter it so we've got about 150k left to spend, we can spend about 30 million, can spend about 30 million on a centre-back. Have we got anyone else left to sell? Uh, Grassi, Zuniga, Maiello, Lasicki and Negro. Right, okay. We could raise another five or six. And then obviously wages would help there as well. Who have we got on our shortlist? Um, I am actually quite quite keen on either Van Dijk or Daniele Rugani. Interestingly. They're both about the same valuation. But Rugani has three years on Van Dijk. But Van Dijk has the better physicals and the one higher rating. Oh, and he's better on the ball as well. 
But that could be trained, I suppose. We are in Italy, so perhaps we should go for the Italian talent. Although, there are quite a few Dutch players in Serie A. Romagnoli I'm leaning away from now. I'll remove him from the list. De Vries is still an option. Toby Alderweireld is still an option as well. Eric Bailly... He's probably... He's going to be too expensive. I'm going to remove him from the shortlist. Otamendi is still an, an option as well, actually. Nicolas Otamendi could be a go-to. Bruno Martins Indy, we decided no. Same with Mbemba and Balanta. Mustafi's probably going to be too expensive. In fact, he's certainly going to be too expensive, so I'll remove him. And Rudiger... He's just not an improvement, is he, on what we've already got. So it's Otamendi. Alderweireld is expensive, but... Oh, he's very expensive. Uh, I don't think De Vries or Alderweireld are going to be possibilities purely because of price. Van Dijk and Regani are the two leading candidates right now, with Otamendi a close second slash third. I'll let you guys decide, though. For now, that's the end of today's episode, however. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel, too, if you haven't already, to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Hopefully, the weather will have cooled down. I'll be able to start putting face cam back in videos very, very soon. But for now, I'll see you next time.